Oh, poor guy. Hey, man, I saw you with the uh, thumb out. Just hop in. Let's go. Oh, no. Thank you. Actually, I'm just waiting for my girlfriend. She's going to drink at Starbucks. Is this the new S Pass? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I need a ride. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is nice. Uh, what, uh, what about your girlfriend? I can be whatever you want me to be. You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the brand new Mercedes-Benz S-Class. And now in its seventh generation, it's got more bells and whistles than ever. It's also longer, wider, quieter, and still very expensive. The S580 starts at $140,000 Canadian, and if you want things like augmented reality, or 3D gauge clusters, or 4D surround sound systems, that number increases rapidly. Among the German offerings, the S-Class throughout history has always been regarded as the king. The king of innovation. The king of serenity. The king of luxury. So. Does it still deserve that title? And what happens if you want to still own an S-Class, but only have a few grand in your pocket? And a huge thank you to Mercedes-Benz Peterborough for getting us into both of these S-Classes. If you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing around. So subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, in the S580. <laughs> yeah, it's got some torque. Almost 500 horsepower because we have a smooth Mercedes V8. Yeah. And we've got the 48 volt mild hybrid, which we love. Mild hybrid's always good. Well, yeah. when I come to a stop. Yeah. It shuts the engine off before you come to a stop and then starts it after you're already moving. And that was seamless just yes. then. We've you... had it with AMG V8s that aren't as seamless. Yeah, for some reason the CLS was the first time we tried it in and it was super smooth. Well, the CLS was an inline six. Yes. And we thought that the V8 was the reason that it couldn't be smooth in that GLE 63 or whatever it was, but this right. is proof that it can be. Yeah, it's, uh, it is smooth, it is smooth, I'll say that. However, do you know what's smoother? What? An EV. An EV is, but they've yeah. made the EQS, it exists, it looks, like the dog's bollocks, which normally, <laughs> which normally means a good thing yeah. in English, but it, it kind of looks a bit just like dog's like, bollocks. It doesn't look good. No. This does look good. Well, we'll talk about that more later. I do have some opinions oh, on it. It's stuff. easy to drive as well. Like brake input, throttle input, it does exactly what I want Well, see, to. like that's the reason you get an S-Class, is because everything is going to be calibrated perfectly. But there's no getting away from the fact that an EV would still be smoother. It would, but right? this is quiet now, because we've got acoustic stuff in the pillars. Yeah. They've gone they've gone hard on it and making it as quiet as it can be. Yeah, it is um, it is very quiet in here. It is very quiet. And we're, we're currently driving in the streets of Peterborough. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to be honest, I don't know about you, I'm feeling a bit of jostle and I, I can feel the bumps in the road. I didn't want to say it, but yeah, I'm not super impressed with the ride right now. I'm hearing and feeling every little crack we're going over in the road. I bet you that the 20 inch wheels don't help. No, but right? I, I think that we've seen how much the e-active the e body control transforms a Mercedes now. Yes, and this and it, does not have that. It's a must. I think they're kind of scamming you. Yeah, I mean, well, obviously we can't comment on whether or not the E-Active ride control would completely fix what we're feeling right now. Yeah, we're delayed, we're, by the way. The E-Active, it's delayed on S-Classes. Everything yes. a Mercedes is kind of... Compared. Yeah, like there's no V8s next year. No V8s. It's weird, except for this car, actually. This is the only exception yeah. to that. Um, so, speaking of uh, S-Class things, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm a very comfortable man. Oh, you do look. You've got yeah. a lot of space there. I have, I have, this can only be described as a full-size down pillow attached to the back yeah. of my head. Un unlike the 7 Series, you're not like high. For some reason, the 7 Series wrist yeah. is high up. I was going to say, the seating position and the seats in this car are unbelievably good. But since we don't have the ultimate rear seat packages and stuff, 
I don't have all of the crazy stuff. Like, there's tables that you can get, and obviously. Listen, I, you take what you get. Oh, right? I do, and I will. And I have this button here, and I have to say, this is one of the nicest buttons I've ever used <laughs> in a car. It's it's, a, it's so satisfying. That is a nice button. I, can't, not, I don't have one. I don't yeah, have one yeah, of those. you have a lot of other types of buttons. We'll go over that. I'm in telling a you, from the driving seat here. Yeah, it is a wonderful cockpit. It's so easy. It's so yeah, easy. Yeah, it is. It is easy. Um, I will say though, in terms of being back here and you know experiencing what it just means to be inside of an S class, this isn't a huge step up from the previous gen. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. But how do you how do you step up without going EQS style with super luxury, super like EV and technology stuff? Uh, well, they, they've kind of half done that here, and the question is, does it work or not? We'll you know we'll kind of delve into that when we do the well, interior. Well, don't forget, later. don't forget, the S class is all about technological marvels and firsts and yes you can now get the s class with why are we going are we going shopping well we can go shopping if you want hakim optical's always got good stuff going on i need glasses but the new s class can be have a 10 degree rear wheel oh steer. you're gonna do the rear wheel steer this doesn't have it, it no it doesn't actually no it has four wheel it has so. 4.5 degree yeah of rear wheel steer which you would think isn't gonna be enough but Considering this thing is now longer this year, so it's like 17.3 yeah. feet. If I just hold this left, look at that. What the hell? And you can see it on the wheels. It's an aggressive turn on the rear wheels. Oh so, my god! So who knows what 10 degrees looks like? I can't wait to try that. And what's weird is they cost the that's same. That's not the. That's not even the 10 degrees. No, and they cost the same. So why wouldn't you option it? I know that with the 10 degrees you could only get 20 inch rims maximum, but this has 20 inch rims. So why wouldn't you option this? I don't know. Okay. I would want to see that. Yeah, that that was ridiculously impressive. The S class has always been about firsts, and if it can be better than that, that's that's a first. I've never seen a car this big that can do a corner that tight before. Okay, so yeah. given its maneuverability, yes, its smoothness yes. in the engine, yeah, its trans the transmission's been lovely actually as well. Yep. Um, how easy it is to drive, and let's give an asterisk and say that the active body control fixes the jostles we're feeling. Okay, I'll give it that. The car is perfect. Is it? Because nothing is perfect, really. Except for Bianca, apparently. But if you go back a quarter of a century and spend less than half the tax on the new one, you can get a W140. You're going to need some W140. This old S class. W is old. James, that's, that's WD40. What's it like living in the city? Seriously. It's all right. Got perfume for our armpits. <laughs> Get in the car. All right. All right. Uh, no soft clothes. Undrivable. Uh, well, uh, hold on. It has soft clothes. Does it? Yes. All right. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. But right? yeah, I'll send you the new one. Yeah, but this car invented it. And not only did it invent soft clothes, it also was the first time the world saw double glazed glass in a window. Oh yeah. Look how meaty it is too, there's so much to it. Well, I got a genius idea. Yeah, what's that? No one's ever... Is it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> triple glazed glass. Yeah. Oh wow. Boom. Yeah. No one saw it coming, billion dollar idea. Thomas, this window won't close. Um, Oh, that works. Hey, hey, hey. Um, it's quirky. I'll give you yeah. that. But I mean, like, like $7,000 roughly is what you can get one of these for. That's pretty impressive. Isn't and it? we are, what's the word? Hofting. Hofting? We are hofting. It is comfortable back here. This, these seats don't compare. I mean, they've seen some years. Yeah, so. look, they've seen some years. This thing's older than you. No, no, it's not. And we just drove down this exact road in that S class. Yes. And do you agree that with all the quirks and stuff, we are being insulated from these little bumps and cracks in the road? No. As yes. good or yeah. better. Yeah. Than the, yes? Yeah. Right. Is this smooth? It is incredibly smooth. smooth. But you don't know why? Because back in this era, this is this is before the early 2000s when everything kind of went to crap a little bit with Mercedes. Yeah. This is when everything was massively over-engineered. And I guarantee there was a team of 
five guys that sat around to design one bushing for the subframe in this car to make sure that it absorbs the exact right amount of driveline vibrations and road vibrations. And they obsessed like over when, every angle and cranny, well, everything. When Germans were real Germans. When we were real Germans, yeah. Um, it is louder though in here. Like there is more tire noise, there's more. It's yes. Not this is on like a knobbier tire in general, but it, it is definitely louder. You can't get away from modern insulation in cars. The leather is slightly sweaty. I, <laughs> yes. I don't have ventilator seats, and it's no. a very hot day. It is a very the hot day. The aircon is trying, but... It's, it's doing some stuff. It's doing a little bit of air conditioning. <laughs> they start to blur for me, though. Like, the E38 7 Series, the old Lexus, they start, once you just get black and brown wood <laughs> yeah. just like comf it just kind of all ends up feeling the same apart yeah. from the outside fascia exactly although the uh, the E38 drove more like a sports car this just drives like a big luxury boat all Mercedes from the era did like the throttle is long the brakes are long the steering is light the suspension is goopy right everything about it is slow it's, it's what they, it's including the shifts. It doesn't, it doesn't have Sport Plus mode. There is no Sport Plus mode. Nope, it doesn't have that. But it does have an inline six. Which goes which forward. Which moves us forward. It's not, the right direction. Uh, it is the right direction, yeah. But for that intense acceleration. Yes. I don't have my soft, <laughs> my soft head cushion. Oh, you don't? No, but I do, I do have this thing. So I can put the, so I can see. What the is back. the point in that feature? I have perfect visibility. I do, screw the passengers. Yeah, well, you got a lawsuit on your hands, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun. Like this car is is chock full of what. It's funny because you can tell at this point. Technology now is technology. There's so much of it. It's it's almost like we're blind to it. But there's certain things in this car you can feel were innovations. Right. Like they feel like innovations. Like that is an early version of that thing. I feel like a lot of stuff happens. You know, like when you there's a film that you watch and it's really dated, but everyone's yeah. gone mad about how good it is. Yes. And you, know, you don't understand at the time it changed the way we looked at film. You know, like Casablanca. Yeah. And you're like I don't care. It's so old and slow and linear. <laughs> I feel yeah. like you get back in these and they're like, but you don't. You were, it was crazy when it happened. Yes, but... I went home and listened to all of Pink Floyd afterwards. You know? <laughs> but, to be fair, no, I agree. There's a little bit element of that. Like, it's easy to be like, I don't get it, I don't care. Like, the dashboard is simple. Everything is these big, chunky, dumb buttons, right? Like, I, I can get how you wouldn't be impressed. But at the same time, objectively, when it comes to smoothness and ride, this is on par with modern luxury cars. Not with the active body control. No, we not with the active, not with body, the active control. body control. But, but that's the tech. Now, I know, but and that, the 10 degrees rear steer. Yeah, hey, hold on. With your 10 degrees rear steer, watch this. Regular two lane road. Okay, I didn't make it, but it's still really good, okay? It's still really good. Yeah, all right. How do I get my headrest back? <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna stop to talk about the styling, but we're not gonna do a full interior review of this because here we are in it right now. And there's not that much to talk about. It has a radio. It has dual zone climate control. That's fancy. Not okay. enough screens. There's not, there aren't any screens. But there is a very timeless gauge cluster. Okay. Yeah. And there's okay. tons of room, big squishy seats. But no pillowed headrests, which is the big thing. Not for you anyway. No. Okay. All right. Uh, soft close. I, I remember. Really yeah. I'm so impressed by that. It's weird because it's like usually cars, mate, my Mercedes from this era, you give it a big German whomp. Oh, do you have a Mercedes from this era? Did I tell you that already? Yeah, it's come off I, a couple I, of times. I, I might have. Someone has a Mercedes from this era. Did you guys know that I have a Mercedes yeah. from this era? Actually, mine's earlier. Um, it's older than you. No, it's not. Uh, well, <laughs> if you can't count. Okay. So this is a cool looking car. This is like uh, this is like the Bruno Sacco, strong lines, right angles, classic Mercedes, right? It doesn't, it doesn't look expensive though. When you think S-Class, yeah. you want it to kind of be that kind of boss look, right? You haven't gone for the old What Audi. do you mean go boss look? People dump these, put 20s on them. But this comes out of the factory. Looking like an A-Class. Okay, it, it, no, it, you know what? It's subdued. It, uh, it, it <laughs> looks like an A-Class. Because the front end looks like an A-Class, the rear end looks like an A-Class. And, and what is up with this? 
on the front, James. Explain that to me. That's technology. And the uh, is it? And the rear camera as well is like a little pimple yeah, coming I'm, out of the trunk. I'm confused about that because I'm sure the CLS we had had, had, the, uh, had the emblem that popped out and, yeah. and hid the camera. That looks weird, that yeah. camera. I will say the door handles are very cool. They're very cool. You can give them a little stroke and then they come out at you. That's nice. Right? Isn't yeah. that weird? It's kind of, I enjoy doing Look, that. It, it still looks like an S-Class. You've got the Maybach if you want to go crazy. You've got a Rolls-Royce yeah. if you want to go completely nuts. Bentley Flying Spur has that massive crazy grill. I think I, my issue is probably that the way that this looks is not bad because the S-Class should be understated, right? It yes. should be simple, clean, understated. It's true to its The problem is, is that the A-Class and the other Mercedes came out before this. If this had come out before them and then they looked like it, I would be like, oh, well, they've, they've taken some S-Class styling. But Mercedes is very good at that. The, the, the CLA looks like a baby CLS. Yes. You know, they, they, they know how to market to the younger crowds as well. No, it is, it is still, it is subtle. I'm being hard on it. I think it's a good looking vehicle. It could have been maybe a little bit more adventurous. At least it doesn't look as weird as that, what's it called? EQS. EQS has got bizarre proportions. The problem I have with the EQS is yeah. that it, the, the, it looked like it was going to be so cool in the concept. The concept looks amazing. And, and the real version looks like they've just, it's just wearing the clothes of the concept and being like, 100%, I'm yeah, still the yeah, same. It looks like they draped the clothes of the concept over a front wheel drive, like, There's Hyundai. Surely the magic of the S-Class, apart from these wicked lights, Yeah. surely yeah, the magic of the S-Class is on the inside. Let's go see. Soft clothes. Oh. I feel like soft clothes is a bit of a gimmick, you know? No. It's, un <laughs> it's, it's undrivable without no. it. No. <laughs> you know, the, I understand what you're saying. You slam it shut. Well, 90% of the time you slam it shut. But yeah. I, I find it's best applications when you're kind of walking away and you just kind of, you don't get the force on the oh, door. Oh, it doesn't you, make it all the way? You're like, yes. ah, damn it. And then it goes, yeah. it's yeah. like, I got you. Thanks, Germany. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Germany. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I want to say that before, I have a couple critiques. But this is a a very 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 nice place to, to it's sit. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Like it, it visually looks fantastic. The materials are, are really nice, and these aren't aren't even the nicest materials that you can get. Go on, we'll we'll go gripe for gripe. I got two. All right, I got one. Ready? This did not need to be reinvented. These are like touch button yeah, things now. Yeah. They can't, they kind of yeah, move they with kind the of move, but they don't move enough that you know when you're actually hitting one of the sections. Yeah. And, and you can barely touch them and they'll move. I just feel like why? Also this bit, like you gotta, you can't, how do you move the headrest up? You need this hand. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird <laughs> choice. It's a weird choice. It is really kind of why No that. thanks, Germans. <laughs> All right, you're back to zero. Yes. Um, I, my problem was, is that the poplar wood trim here, and I imagine a lot of the wood trims, it, the, the, the level at which this has already collected dust today. This was detailed this morning. It's extreme. There's fingerprints all over here. We've yeah. lost the touchpad here. Like I can, in, I can in see place of this screen. Collecting. I can see it collecting. Yes. So right? that's, that's not perfect. And then my second gripe, I don't know if I have it anymore. Oh. Seats are great. We'll move on to good stuff. Seats are great. I, in fact, yes. I would go as far to say, and I'm talking about Rolls Royce here, these might be the Ooh. best seats, driver's seats, ever. Whoa. The multi contour seats. I don't know about I'm ever, so but on the market right now, these seats are. I mean, right now, you do, I didn't, I'm talking about the future forever. No, well, I mean, like, in, in the past. <laughs> there's, there's seats in the past no. that. You no, know, there are, though. No. They're like old Volvo seats. They're like sitting on a, like a sofa. It's like a lazy boy. I think that's just nostalgia. It's not nostalgia. They're, they're super cool. Anyway. No. If these they, cushions are wonderful. They are. They are really. They're so big and wide and soft, and you get these massive pillows. And, we, and I think you know, credit to Mercedes because we've got in a lot of Mercedes and, and creaked everything we could. Yes. This is probably the best built solid cabin we've been in. It should be. It's the S class. But it hasn't always been. We got some premium packages going on in here. Yeah, like there's way more stuff in the rear seat, and like I think when we we're going to eventually, I'm sure at some point, drive the the Maybach version yeah. of this car. And we'll save a full detailed seat review for that one, yes. right? Uh, because there's going to be some crazy stuff in there. We don't want to ruin it just yet. It has the premium. It has the neck warmers with the premium package. And, and, the, and the pillows back there, I have to say, are even squishier and thicker than this. It could be my squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they squishy. But the tech, the big thing is the tech. That's what yeah. they go on about. It's got five screens. <laughs> Where are the yeah. five screens? Uh, one, two. Oh, and if, if you and get if the you, TVs. And if you have the TVs. And there's the, the screen on the... Yes, okay. exactly. And yeah. apparently there's like 27 less, fewer buttons, sorry, physical buttons. See, now that's not a good thing, though. They, I, I was, I'm with you. They boast, yeah. they boast about it. Like, it. We removed all of the things that yeah. you use to interact yeah. easily with the car. Hey, they kept normal door handles, kind of. They come out. Yeah, these are at least normal in here. There's no like like a push button on a Tesla. So, but so that kind of sets the stage for a worrisome interior if it's just full screens. However, 
they did it fine. It's, it's all about execution, and Mercedes yeah. proves that. There's some gimmicky stuff, like we have 3D here now, oh, like yeah. the Genesis GV80. It's fine, it like, it kind of works. It's, a, it's like a 13 or $1,400 extra. I wouldn't go for it. it. It works, so, you know, without wearing 3D goggles, it does emulate 3D. You know which gauge cluster is three-dimensional, and it works really, really well? It's it's the it's the W140 gauge cluster that is that. physically three dimensional because it exists in the real world and it's not a screen. But I get what they're trying to do. It's simulate fun. the past. Yeah. Um, anyway, and you can also have sorry the augmented reality. Yeah, you can. That's in, cool. In, in the head up display. In the heads up display. So we've always since M Bucks came out, we've had augmented reality. Yep. In the in the infotainment, but it, now it's in the head up display, which is much better because it was a gimmick. The it fact was. that you had to look down. To go, oh, cool! Look at the arrow in that street. Ah! <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. now now it's better. Yeah, because this is M Bucks Two, which, by the way, has fifty percent more processing power than M Bucks One. Which is a number of processing power that I didn't know. Fifty percent more now. So they they could have said it was twenty percent more, and I'd yeah. be like, also, wow, I don't know anything. But go on, I think credit to Mercedes, yeah. they they allow you to access everything the way you want. Yes, like this has a home button, which is really easy to use. Has haptic feedback. Yeah, it has haptic feedback yeah. actually on the screen, right? Same like, like the Audi. And they got a cool Starry Night thing going on here with the dust. <laughs> <laughs> really cool effect. It's the, sun, uh, the, the worst possible spot for yeah. us to show this off. But yeah, this uh, this is a volume like button. It's like it's also a slider yeah. and a button. It's whatever you want. And it, to it works be. perfectly well, perfectly well. Yeah. Right, and the buttons on the steering wheel work perfectly well. And, and they, and the, unlike the E Class, which we recently drove, where you kind of had to tilt yeah, your with thumb, that cool, these like, fall to hand perfectly. Yeah. This new technology feels more secure and stable than what used to be on it, which actually looks like that. But that's the fingerprint. That's a fingerprint button reader now. Yeah. yeah. So you can access your driver profile. You can stop the valet from being able to go to your house. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Even if he knows the address, it yeah. won't let him go. When there. he inevitably takes the S Class for Not a true. test drive. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I want to say there are some things I don't like in here. I don't like that we have these stuck on screens still. I, think, I don't think this is going to be around forever. I think that we're going to go back to integrated screens at some point. I'm pretty I don't sure. mind this at all. I just, I don't know, for me it just looks like, it looks like a, a Gen 1 iPad stuck. Like iPads have progressed to the point where they're so thin and beautiful now. And this is, it looks like an old iPad. I so, see. I so it just see. doesn't look good to me. But there's a space for your phone behind. Wow. <laughs> they full of everything. Uh, oh, oh, that last cool thing. Last cool thing we'll point out before we do a conclusion. When the, the ambient lighting in here is mind blowing. Yes. But when you change the temperature, it gives you a graphic in, of, not a graphic, like the light show for it's how a, cold or hot it's and Every going. time you press it, yeah, it does and one red. And it goes red. all the way to the back seat. It's so cool. Look at the blue. That's very cool. I'm such a child because, like, this is obviously Mercedes going, like, I know what they're going to like. They should I'm have some flair. Light show. And I'm like, ooh, ah, guess what? It works. I'm glad. Well, they look, they've given us 3D augmented reality. Yeah. You're going to be able to drive this with, while wearing an Oculus Rift at some point. <laughs> you, know? right, yeah. you can do it now. You don't have you to leave your house to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and you can pick up hitchhikers all the same. Yeah, that's right. So. Step back a second. Yeah. Ignore that the Bentleys are above and the Rolls Royces are above. Yeah. You've got new S Class A8 7 Series. Yeah. Where's your head at? There's a new 7 Series about to drop, so I can't tell you. It's going to have some stuff in it. I don't know. I Maybe think we'll do a trio review. I think the S Class is back in the front seat. I don't know about that. I don't know. Okay. Listen, I know what Thomas means, because even with some of the very impressive technology on this new S-Class, we couldn't help but feel that it seems like a bit of a placeholder until these ultra-luxury cars are all electric. That said, seeing as the EQS is now a thing and both options are available, this is a very, very nice placeholder. And with the changes and new theatrics, it has only improved on the formula. Or you can hark back to a time when the S-Class didn't have unrealistic body standards, E-Active or otherwise, and was just about solid, simple, strong engineering. No, it doesn't have bells and whistles, but it does have a shockingly smooth ride and oodles of class. S-Class. I'm sorry. <sighs> Thanks for watching. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry. That actually scared the <laughs> out of me. It was out. <laughs> I 
I thought something was happening in my seat. I've got things to say. <laughs> I All thought right. something was happening in my seat.